Let me know if you want me to get farther away. <laughs> Maybe. Well, we're All right. welcome everybody to some uh, Harvest Valley. It's that time again. Uh, we're gonna play some Burning Wheel. Uh, this game's pretty fun. Um, yep, that's what I got. Uh, good evening. How's everybody doing? It's been a little. It's been a little bit. I'm all right. I'm tired. You got I actually job. work a job now. Yeah, that's great. But I don't have any money. That's less oh, great. No. Soon, <laughs> soon I'll have money. Shouldn't it be like that? Working a job is usually how. No. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Right, Your tooth. Right, 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 right. Teeth. Mm, look at that beautiful tooth. Cost fourteen hundred dollars. That, that's that, how teeth go. Yep. But I'll have money one day. That's a dream. Someday. <laughs> one day. I, I I think, uh, you know, you will. I think you will. You know, paying for the the tooth now means that you'll have a tooth longer for more money later. That's right. Later, <laughs> I can get a root canal. Yeah. That costs twice as much. I've had one of those before. It's less fun too. It actually didn't hurt at all. It actually hurt less. It was the least painful dental operation I've ever had. Oh well. Wow. It's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. They said uh, because every nerve in the tooth had died, mm -hmm. could feel nothing. That's okay. so. Yeah. I'm a zombie now. <laughs> XP. Yeah. Okay. Uh. That sounds like you. That's that's how you're. Two weeks have been. Did we play last week? I'm so no. confused. Um, I don't think so. No. Yes. Okay. I remember now. That's right. Got it. Yep. Uh, it's just been that kind of week where everything is going or not going. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel the same. I've been like focusing so much on game stuff that I'm just like in kind of a haze. <laughs> I'm like forgetting when things are happening and waking up with weird dreams where I'm like saying mustard in my sleep and stuff like that. Because yeah. I'm ordering like a sub at like a sandwich place and I'm just like, I am just like reading off what I'm ordering apparently in my sleep. And then I wake up and I'm just like, must, oh wait, I am a person who is waking up. Let's not complete that sentence. Wow. Yep. You ever have a dream where you're stuck in a time loop and Superman keeps on killing you? <laughs> nope. No, but Can't that sounds say good. I have. That sounds good. Yeah. Wow. We should we should like get together in our dreams sometimes, Adam. Yeah. I think it would be fun. I support this plan. Yeah. I had a strange dream. Uh, while well, I was taking a nap after having completed up putting all my patio furniture together where oh. I passed out on the <laughs> patio furniture uh, and then woke up with a headache. Uh, but, like, there was this moment where, like, and this is where I woke up with a headache, where all of a sudden uh, the world fractured into hexagons mm. and then started clockwork shifting, <laughs> rotating all of them. Usually uh, when that happens, it's because like, part of your oh. psyche has escaped your body. It's this. You gotta go find it. Yeah, uh, and then I woke up with a headache, and it was not great. But I'm feeling much better now. And mm -hmm. also, I made a bunch of patio furniture, so my backyard is not empty. Which we is got nice. Yeah, that's great. Really good. I posted one on Twitter, too. Good. So you should follow me on Twitter, at Kelsa. Yeah. Oh, we should also share this amazing thing that Lavender Void made. Hmm? Which thing did I make? Many things, but <laughs> one of them is relevant to this campaign. The thing, ah, that thing, the festival card, the thing. That that comes that comes during the break. Oh. Yeah, we're supposed to be introducing ourselves. Is that what we're doing? That's what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> I feel like this is so, like giving the audience an you? honest idea of who we are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so who are you, Sam? I'm Sam. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wasn't fool on Twitch. The wasn't fool on Twitter. Um, I'm here to play Ned, and and so I'm gonna do that. 
I don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, I don't think there is much else to say there, really. Uh, great. What about uh, that way for me? I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, it's you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, from my perspective, where Zoom is like shrunk down, it looks like you're pointing at. Well, actually, it could have worked because you're pointing at like my Twitter header thing, which is me. So I guess that kind of works. Hi, yeah. I'm Dark Lavender Void at Twitter and Twitch and other places. Uh, you can also call me Adam. My pronouns are they, them, and uh, I make cool stuff of a bunch of different kinds. All of those are facts. That's true. Golden, who are you? I'm muted, aren't I? You were. Now you're not. Oh, I'm not muted. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. All right, you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash goldenwh. I play role-playing games, I write cold, and I philosophize deeply. Yeah. You also run this role-playing game as RGN. I do. That's but it's burning game. wheel, so really it's like, it's all about you guys. Again. <laughs> uh, you it know, always is. You still got some stuff you got to do, though. I got some stuff up my sleeve. Mm, mm. Let me let me see about some dice I have. Some dice. Yeah, some dice. Was that my cue to start GMing? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm really on top of this whole. I don't run thing. this show. <laughs> Uh, so let's talk about our characters and uh, their beliefs, since that's how Burning Wheel works. Um, mm -hmm. Ned, why don't, why don't you start? Uh, I believe that I'm not the type of man who would be killed by an elk. <laughs> I also believe <laughs> this year's fairy hunt will be the best ever, because I am leading it. And I also believe that it's time to get to work on the first true batch of drunken monkey whiskey. And I also nice. believe, because I'm super special, so I get a special belief, that I will make sure Esteban isn't going to starve when winter comes. I took away the uh, injured part because he's not injured still, but we didn't get a chance because that was why I was trying to kill this elk originally. But now I'm trying to kill this elk because this elk is trying to kill me. <laughs> um, my instincts are measure twice, cut once, anger leads to hate, and always make time to practice my brewing. Yeah. Um, well, let's hear about Esteban next. It kind of hurt my nose. I made a gesture that Esteban was going to eat all of the elk meat, and then I hit my nose accidentally. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry! <laughs> okay, let's read my beliefs. Um, I am a shepherd and tender of horses. I'm out of horseshoes, and there's never been a time where my horses have been in greater need of reshoeing. Mm. Belief number two is that I've helped Ned in some ways, but I've also brought him trouble. Ned deserves prosperity, so I'll bring him some business through my taxi service. And my final belief is Ash and I, the town's next clockmaker and the town's next singer, are estranged roommates in a huge magical mansion that's got me thinking the clear secret to restoring harvest valley to its former glory is to restore and master more of these magical crafts mm. um, my instincts are always find a place to snooze when someone seems trouble to help them out and never keep a straight face and my traits are odd bad influence curly hair moldy Somnambulist, which means sleepwalker, for those of you who don't know that word. Tight-knit, observant of rituals. He's a big old gossip. He's got an affinity for his sheep and goats, and he's a deep sleeper. Brilliant. Uh, that brings us to me. I play Ashlyn. Uh, she is... was? She's a farmer, and uh, also uh, the prophet of the Harvest Goddess. Uh, her beliefs are uh, the bar in Ned's brewery is attracting drunks and destroying my crops 
I need to talk to Med Ned about those hooligans. Uh, also about Ned, Ned has angered a wild elk. I will try to calm the animal and send it on its way. And uh, finally, Rachel has uh, had to sell uh, her stores of rice. Uh, I will bless the rice harvest to help replenish Rachel's stores. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, instincts are always pick wildflowers or berries. Always wake up at 6 a.m. sharp and never stay up past 2 a.m. in the morning. Always presume the best of people. That's the one that gets me in trouble the most. Mm -hmm. uh, my traits are opportunistic, tenacious, grit under her fingernails, urbane, scarred, and faithful, a familiar face, curse of the night, and aura of determination. Um, yeah, so uh, when, we, when we were last here... Uh, Ned was hunting an elk and uh, only succeeded in making it angry. Uh, I don't know if that's where we're going to start, but that's what uh, that's what I remember the most. It didn't just make it angry. It, 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 like jumped off the cliff. I thought it was charging me. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, it's charging you. So, what do you do when confronted by a charging elk? What's my surroundings? Was it, was Ashlyn with me? I can't even remember. I remember going into the woods with Ashlyn. Yeah, Ashlyn and your sister are both with you. Your okay. sister Matilda. You okay. know, they had it helped. You know, they were in the woods themselves looking for herbs. And, yeah. you know, they offered their help to you to find food, but... But they didn't help me clearly because I didn't roll with help. <laughs> you didn't accept their their. You their wanted help. that challenging test. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. That sounds that sounds like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, because you didn't accept their help, now you're in a situation with a charging elk. Cool. Um. What what am what's my surroundings? The elk was on a cliff, or I'm on a cliff. I imagine that there was like the forest, right? And there was a clearing around the cliff. And you could see up the cliff, and there was an elk on top of it, you know, residing majestically, like an elk does. Uh, I imagine there's like a, a calm, sleepy river nearby. But of course, the river isn't between you and the elk. OK. See, Ned is a smart hunter, wise beyond his years. <laughs> he knows that sometimes the best implement to hunt the animal is the animal itself. So I'm going to try to use my tree wise because I know that in this part of the forest grows a type of tree that has a particularly soft wood. Mm. Ned being a carpenter knows from wood. We've gone over this before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So because this tree has nice soft wood, Ned knows that if he can get the, the elk to charge him while he's standing with his back facing the tree and jump out of the way, the elk will get stuck in the wood and then he can kill the elk with his knife. All right. All right. So, <laughs> so let's make a wise a check. Tests, but I, I think it'll work. Uh, let's I mean, start with a wise check. I just wanted right. to try to calm the elk. Maybe ask the harvest goddess to help you we don't i mean we were just here to get some herbs i didn't realize you were gonna murder poor innocent creatures Ned. the elk is charging with murderous intent All right, let, okay so i want to also while this is happening uh roll my uh faith to uh ask the to calm the elk I, I just want to be real clear. You realize that Ed, Ned came here to slaughter this animal, and if you calm the elk, he's just going to put an arrow in its eye. Like, he's here I, to kill and eat this animal. If so the elk is calm... It to stop, it's just going to make it so I can eat this animal easier. You can just walk up to the elk and kill it with a slow knife. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm just making sure Kelsey realizes. Oh, no, no. I realize that. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, 
but I, I'm not entirely sure that Ashlyn realizes that. Mm -hmm. Uh, but at the same time, you know, uh, uh, a harvest of elk meat is still a harvest, right? Um, That's why you and Ned are going to have a talk about what the harvest goddess really feels about the animals after this. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, I feel like, yeah, yeah, Ashlyn can roll first. Okay. Because, uh, like, I, I think while Ned is, like, looking around for that tree that he knows is nearby uh, you know ashlyn has already like started praying uh Good. please harvest goddess help save ned he's gone and, and angered this elk and it's sure to gore him if we do nothing please just turn away um what even we call that like I mean more like not calm like make it docile but like make it not murderous basically you want um, to gentle the elk yeah or uh, da -da -da -da. you know what your, your easiest and simplest option for this miracle is What's so that? The Ob for hindrance miracle where you can just bind the elk in place. <laughs> That's what I would do. Mm. But I don't know if the harvest goddess's blessing extends to to that in the same way that uh my god of chains and walls and the like did. Yeah. Um I I feel like it would be closer to like an ob five a uh, minor miracle but i'm i'm not even i it might actually be more than that i don't think it's more than ops 5 okay but i think if you fail um... because i don't i don't want to just like stop it i want it to to uh, i don't want to hurt it which means that getting it to calm and not attack you whether that's just like run away instead um is more my goal you know like bring it down a notch from murderous or at least redirect that passion towards not you preferably not me or your sister either <laughs> mm -hmm. um okay i don't have any modifiers i don't know if i want to spend off here i probably ought to spend off it here um Mm, yeah, let's uh, let's spend uh, two persona. No, oh. no. You got fate. Can I, right? Yeah, I have a fate. Can I reroll a traitor here? Mm-hmm. That's a good. That's a good call. No. Oh, oh. goodness. I was so excited for okay. this to have with Ned murdering this harvest So, elk. so, uh, I would like to call on one of my call-ons. Uh-huh. Um, All right. I'm listening. Well, that's early. I, I know I do, though. Um, I feel like the most appropriate one is the Night Wolf. I was about because... to call. Whoa. I was about to call bullshit hard if you went for Orange information. No. I was like, no, that no. does not fit. Uh, because I, I think, what, uh, I, I think what her intent is and what the Night Wolf's intent is is going to definitely clash, and maybe its solution to getting this uh magic to happen is going to be more along lines what Ned wants than what she wants. Um, All right, so the Night Wolf will help you, but if you fail, um, you're going to curse Ned's entire family with the curse of the Night Wolf. 
Yeah, no, that's okay. good. That's All right. a call for me. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. would love that. Sweet. Okay. I was like, I'm not going to agree to that if you're not cool with it, but if you're cool with it, then definitely. Ned hates his family, and I uh... love a call on trait. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I've got, uh, I can reroll uh, all of my failures. Is that including the ones that were originally sixes, uh, that were rerolled after being sixes, or no? Uh, it's only failures. So it, only it, failures. It's, it's just okay. any, any die so, that is not a four or higher. Uh, so, uh, uh, <sighs> so you get to roll six dice by my count. Okay, thank you. I was trying to count, and I was. Uh, Don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is actually a, a funny thing about the system, and it's just the way the one. You... There's one. For, the, for future for future reference, Kelsa. Yeah. This is just a weird way the math works. If you're gonna use a call on and faith for an open ended skill, it's always better to use the call on first, because you don't uh, you. <clears throat> You see what I'm saying? Because you're not going to end up re-rolling the second fate. So you, if you use the con first, you'll be able to, you're, you're already re-rolling what you re-rolled with the fate die the first time with the call on. I figured with only needing one success. Yeah, that's uh, fair enough. Fair and enough. Uh, it's hard for me to apply f uh, fate to faith. Yeah, that's also true. So unfortunately, Ned's entire family does not get the curse of the Night Wolf. <laughs> um, I was rooting for you, man. Um, so the elk, you know, it calms itself. Uh, if you all see like this glowing aura descend on the elk, like a, like a bridle, and the elk. You know, ceases its attack on Ned, and instead of just like stands majestically in an open field. Um, uh, as you day. as you watch, uh, several other elk uh, walk forward from the forest towards it. Cool. Uh, Ned is going to. I'm like walking towards it, like hand outstretched. Ned is going to try to feather as many of these three elks before they all start running as he can. Okay, so do you wait for them all together? <laughs> or do you start shooting them as soon as they walk out of the forest? Um... <clears throat> Well, I'm probably focused on the one that was charging at me. Okay. Actually, no, I don't think Ned would take three elks at once. That would not really be like what you would do because that'd be like pretty majorly wasteful. It'd be hugely um, wasteful, yeah. There's really no way, like, unless you just like gave it to the town and that's just not really Ned's style, like really. Uh, so he's just gonna walk up, <laughs> like he's gonna lie to like him and Ashlyn are walking up at the same time, but like, I'm guessing Ashlyn's walking up with this sort of like childlike wonder. Ned's just like casually strolling while he pulls out his belt knife. Okay. Uh, how fast is Ned? I mean, like, I'm trying to figure out which one of us gets there first. I mean, neither I'm of you making, are in any I'm rush. No effort to race you. So if you're trying to like, I'm race not, I mean, I'm not trying to race you either. I'm making. I'm not trying okay. to be faster than you or anything. I'm just saying, it, with us both going at a leisurely pace, who was closer? I guess. All right, we're, we're going to roll uh, die of fate. Um, Ned, call it evens or odds. Evens. It's getting pretty odd. It's evens. All right, Ned gets there first. All right, go for it. Okay, so so Ned gets there, and the elk is just standing still. Uh, yeah, but it's not like just standing still; like it's staring into your soul. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> Ned 
holds the thing's eyes for like, like you know, a long moment, probably okay. long enough for for Ashlyn to get there. Okay. Slices its throat. All right. Well, it wants to make an intimidation check on you first. What's your willpower? <laughs> uh, four. All right. And let's see here. I mean, so you don't think the elk is intimidating? I'm just like kind of like it's a trying to like force hesitation. What's its goal? Yeah, its goal is that uh you can't attack it because you're too uh awestruck by its majesty. So I mean I don't know that like I feel like that's ne in Ned's character. Like I could see him being intimidating and being forced to hesitate in the way you would in a fight or anything else, like just like the innate it's like complex. But Ned's not gonna have like some come to come to God moment about killing animals. He's a hunter. He's lived his entire okay. life. Maybe it's more like this where like every time you move the elk like just moves slightly and it's like you two are having this face off where you just can't find an opening. All right. I mean, that's fine. That seems reasonable. All right. Hopefully this thing doesn't have like 10 dice in intimidation. No. <laughs> I mean, it still has hit odds four, right? I don't know. Actually, but... last time you were rolling, you were rolling every die of success. So Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. All right. Well, I am going to give it a bonus because it has been blessed. And also a bonus because it is being surrounded by allies who uh, will certainly come to defend it. Uh, yeah. Oh, but it fails. Uh, and so you may make your attack roll or your uh, slaughtering roll, I suppose. You have knives. What are you gonna kill this thing with? I thought that there were like I thought that what you were saying was that there was like it was motionless that I could just kill it with a slow knife because that was the whole thing is that I would shoot it with my bow, but then you were like, no, you could just kill it with a knife easily. No, I, I wasn't uh stakes that was a uh, speculation. Mm. All right, Sorry. well, now I feel like an idiot because I don't have the knife skill and I have the bow skill, but fine, oh, fine. I will try my to bad. this thing's throat out uh, you, you may uh, shoot it with the bow at point blank range. No, it's fine. I'll just slice it with the knife. It makes more sense. Sorry, man. No, it's fine. Uh, or, I mean, or you may, like, argue one of your other skills. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to learn butchery. I feel like this is probably not, like, a full butchery test, but it's... It's yeah. one part of that. Yeah. Yeah, you can do butchery. And what are, let's let's find out some butchery ops here, friends. All right. One second. I'm having trouble with my door. It um was not close. I'll be right back. Butchery, butchery. Butchery. I'm pretty sure this is like gonna be obs for like an entire animal. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. This is definitely is kill, cut, and carve or into edible portions. So it's totally an appropriate skill. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, but so cow, do you, I mean, exotic animal is ob four. <clears throat> mm -hmm. but like, I'm not doing the whole thing. I don't know. It's up to, it's up to, uh, Golden. I mean, he may just let it stand that, uh, well, that if you succeed, that you also managed to completely uh I just uh, butchered this animal entirely just in this clearing <laughs> well no no i mean like it, it not necessarily just in the clearing just like it would stand moving forward oh, to the oh, when oh, you yeah. get to no the no yeah if you succeed you let it ride and you cut it up into little tiny pieces yeah it doesn't uh, that you can uh, it wouldn't necessarily be out here you could still take it back to somewhere that you can place, cook but... for a uh disabled estevan all right. Uh, I guess. Cool. Um, All right. I gotta find the odds for this thing. It's on 262. Oh, okay. It's gonna be tree. possible for me. Ooh, yeah. This is like abs four. Yeah. yeah. What's failure look like? <sighs> Mm. 
Hmm. Your knife will get stuck in the elk's guts. Question. And, uh, yeah. Is this something that, uh, when he fails, uh, not, not if you fail, uh, when he fails, I could, uh, trigger aura of determination. I mean, that's pretty. I have two beliefs about this, actually. <laughs> that's pretty determined. So Ned could trigger it. It's if for you allow allies. him. Yeah, it's it's yeah. for allies too. So that's that's yeah, that's what I mean. It yeah. is, would that be an option? Yeah, I mean that's pretty determined about this. I think so too. I, I definitely agree. That's why I'm suggesting it. All right. I love that you're suggesting that, Kelsa, because that gives me a slim if if it's still very <laughs> it's still very slim. A slim chance of success. Um I'll give you Plus two to your dice, actually. Cool. Would you rather have two dice or plus one obs? I mean, plus one uh, success. This is good. <laughs> Would you rather have two dice or plus one success? I'll take the two dice. I'm going to need a, a ton okay. of luck to get this anyway, so might as well All right. luck. So you get a die for uh, the animal being still, and you get a die for uh, winning that intimidation thing. Cool. All right. All right, guys. I'm also going to take my time because I can. You can. You absolutely can. I have an instinct. <laughs> and I'm going to spend two persona. Wow. So Come excited. On, Ned. I'm so excited. Oh, ho, ho. that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna try fate first before that's I. That's really good. That that is really good. That's a good start, team. Mm -hmm. That's not a good finish. <laughs> that's not good enough. Um, All right. Okay, here we go. Um, you throw five dice. So yeah, one, two, wait, one, <sighs> two, three. Four. Five, yeah. All right. Come on. Come on. One, two, One, two oh, three, shit. four. Oh, shit. Yeah. You did it. And you get to roll another D6 because that's six. No, it Oh, it, no, it already it, it rolled. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, like you just like stare into this elk's eyes. Like it gets like these big glassy eyes once your knife is inside of it. But you just like hold its head and like it slowly dies in your arms. I make sure that it's it's the the, the most painless method possible. You know, I'm like oh. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I think that actually Ashland faints. Okay. Um so Ashland faints and the other elk are gathering around the is, uh... the great elk. What was Ned's sister's name again? Matilda. What's Matilda doing? Yeah. Yeah, like she was like not ran toward the elk, so she's kind of like still watching from the forest lion, like WTFing at this. Fair. Um. So the elk gather around the majestic, now dead, prime elk. And they lower their heads in mourning. What do you do, Ed? Uh, I will bow my head with them and okay. say, say a prayer of thanks to the harvest goddess for, okay. the, for the bountiful harvest. Okay. Um, hmm. I feel like there's a skill for this. Doctrine is a skill. Yeah, you can roll doctrine. Start learning doctrine. All right, wait. I just want to let the audience know right now. I'm currently in the process of learning, uh, let's see, three by... Uh, so that's 18, 20 skills. So this will be my 21st skill in my being learned section. Nice. <laughs> nice. Your being learned section can drink alcohol now. Correct. <laughs> In the United States, more, no less. Yeah, yeah. Uh, doctrine I know is based on perception because I had a character that rolled it all the time. It is. 
Uh, your obs here. Obs, well, what obs options? one. What are the options? Let's see. Obs one. I thought you rolled this all the time. Oh, yeah, common popular beliefs. Yeah. No, I usually forked it into stuff, honestly. Mm. <laughs> I, was almost, I was almost always converting people as opposed to just like preaching at them. Uh, anyway, doctrine. Modifiers none. Arthur none. Ob one. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. So I should have asked for failure before I got all cocky. <laughs> <laughs> the elk begin to circle. Um, yeah, like stopping the ground. They're not attacking you necessarily. Uh, you're actually in no danger at all, Ned. But, uh, Ashlyn fainted on the ground underneath their feet. I would like to try to save Ashlyn, because I can't think of anything more clever than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, roll your save skill. Um, wait, is there a more clever option? I already tried praying. <laughs> uh, well, there's the saving skill and there's the safe scumming skill. <laughs> Can I reload my save? <laughs> um... Not today. Yeah, I guess I just try to like, well, shoot, no, because I'm not going to be able to get Ashlyn out and get this elk. And I can't leave this elk I killed because that would spurn the gift of the harvest goddess. I mean, the problem is really that if you don't act quickly, the uh, the elk meat will be fall fouled. You know, you have to finish the butchering process. Right. In that case, I would like to try to scare away these animals, I guess. Okay, you want to scare them away? Yeah. So I think Ned just like tries to like get big, and he's like, "Shoot, go on, get out of here, shoot the elk, get, <laughs> get." <laughs> okay, okay. Um, man, wh what's the scaring elk skill? Intimidation. Yeah, I think it could be intimidation. Are you learning that too? Yeah, but I don't have any checks in it because it always goes to Will. I started, uh, I, started with, I started the game with B3, Will. Okay, so if you succeed, you're going to scare off the elk in a safe direction. If you fail, um, they're going to charge off in the direction of your sister. Well, hopefully these elk aren't too willful because if they have will higher than two they started the game more will as willful as ned <laughs> i feel like elk are pretty majestic uh willful creatures mm -hmm. they should have average will at least i don't know wait let's see there's i think there's some animals in this yeah let's look at the back, back of the book it's mostly like monsters yeah, I mean, elk are like super horses. Well, let's, look at, let's look at horses. Uh, there no I mean, they are. Uh, there's a wolf. There's the orc wolf that they ride. Oh, yeah, that's pretty badass. What's his will? B3. Uh, you oh, know, so the bigger wolf is B3 and the smaller wolf is B2. I feel like if the black wolves only have will of three, then these elks probably have a will of three. Because, like, those things are pretty pretty tough yeah i mean it's like a yeah they're, they're badass uh they're badasses warriors. yeah all right yeah sure we'll give the elk a will of three i mean it's not like they're the leader elk that you slaughtered or just the thing is the thing is like i would imagine for most animals they have pretty low will and pretty high perception because they're good at like noticing things and like looking around but they're not like super cognizant they're not like you know like loft mm -hmm. I don't know. These are these are elks. I, I I'm I'm I think you're right. I think B three is fair. Yeah. So here's my question: Do I get an advantage for the fact that I'm literally trying to make wild animals do the only thing that wild animals do when they see humans? Mm -mm. Hmm. 
Are these elks afraid of humans, though? Have they learned to fear man? I mean, this is close to a valley where presumably Ned is not the only hunter. You know, give me a um, give me a wise check. Hmm. What's, what sort of wises are we relevant here? Let me look at your wises. Game wise? Uh... Yeah, like these are game. Yeah. Sure. I'll make a game wise check. All right. Um... More skills for the skill. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> where is. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'll look away. I haven't opened up my cheat sheet yet. That's the problem. Oh. Skills for the skill god. Fate for the fate throne. Here we go. Fate for the fate throne. <laughs> this is awesome RPG system called Fate. Mm -hmm. Should try it sometime. I've played it more than one time. I have played All it right. zero times and watched it one time. I actually recently realized that in the uh, stars without number play by posting. Uh, I accidentally made a fake character while everyone else is playing stars without numbers <laughs> characters. <laughs> nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, I feel like this is ops one. Like, what animals fear you would be common knowledge. Sure. Cool. What animals will run when they see a human? Yeah. What animals fear man? Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, I think game wise, because he's like a hunter, that fits. Yeah, it's like yeah, a, it totally fits. Hunting like people would hunt what? Hunt deer. Yeah. Hunt elk. People hunt elk now. They do. That's why I'm actually using an there elk. We go. All right, shit. Nice. All right, all right, all right. You get your uh, plus one die. And I get a test towards game wise. All right, what happens when I fail dramatically to intimidate these elk from? Oh, I already told you. Uh, they will hurt your sister instead. It's cool. You don't like your sister, so it's fine, right? I don't, but I mean, these elk should fear me. They will fear you. It's just whether they hurt uh, Ashlyn or they hurt... Uh, it, whether they hurt your sister or they hurt nobody, basically. Yeah. It's true. Come on, dice. Whoa, that's Ooh. actually a pretty good roll. I'll re-roll it. It's another pretty good roll. That's oh, it's pretty, not pretty good, good enough. But still so not good close. Enough. All right. So the, the other elk, they do run away from you. And one of them catches your sister and their antlers, and they disappear into the forest. Man, what would Ned do? I don't know. I think that's a good time to cut over to let's, where uh, let's cut to, or let's, Estevan is. Let's cut over to Estevan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what are you doing, Estevan? What the heck am I doing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do your beliefs say you're doing? Let's see. What do your okay. instincts say you're doing? Yeah. So, I'm... We must first ask a question. Who would I need to go to to get more horseshoes? More horseshoes? That sounds like a job for a blacksmith. That's what I think, too. All I don't right. think we have farriers here in Harvest Valley, because I think all the people who have horses have to do the job of shoeing horses themselves. Like, yeah. I feel like that's a part of the job. Or... or so so basically the the blacksmith is a farrier as well or are you saying the people who own the horses yeah. shoot it, it wouldn't themselves? be uncommon in a small town for the blacksmith to also shoot the horses yeah that's, that's mm -hmm. fairly common. i think the way it works is that the blacksmith makes the shoes mm -hmm. but the doctor shoes the horses that makes sense okay um so we have a doctor so i'm gonna say that yeah it's donna um she also is the uh Animal doctor. That's a cool sideways option. I like that. For the record, an animal doctor is called a veterinarian. <laughs> it's true. The more it is know. true. But having a big vocabulary means you get to cheat sometimes. Mm -hmm. And maybe we're like a little bit timid too, 
just like in our profession because I've I have looked up at how shooting horses works, and it not only involves uh, metal, but it involves uh, nails, apparently, mm -hmm. which yeah. to to us gentle folk might seem a bit scary because the things that are going into your houses are the things that are going into like some part of your animal's foot that doesn't actually hurt them but yeah. still have you ever seen like what happens when uh, an animal tosses a shoe then you'll know why said veterinarian the doctor takes care of this yeah it's pretty gross mm -hmm. so um you are with Dr. Donna, and she is shooing your horses, am I right? Yes. Do Can I just afford the horseshoes, or... Because I'm out uh, of horseshoes. Uh, Dr. Donna will shoo your horses while you sing to her garden. I like this plan. What does she have in her garden? So where is Esteban right now? You're in her garden. It's like in this like fenced off area behind the uh, that little hospital of the town. Okay. I imagine it's like filled with wildflowers and lots of tiny bugs. Hmm. Like you see ladybugs on the flowers and um. You know, it is middle of summer, so you see a lot of, like, tomatoes and oddly shaped peppers and uh, uh, a lot of seed pods you don't recognize. In fact, your your clothes are probably now covered in seed pods. Yeah. You know, the sticky ones. Yeah, exactly. Are there any, like, citrus trees in here? I think there's only a couple trees. You want citrus trees? Okay, yeah, I can see that being medicinal. Yeah. Okay, so what's the sitch with these with these plants? Are they looking um, like eaten or? I mean, your horses are trying to eat them. Okay. I... Uh, but they mostly just like look like wild, untamed weeds. Mm. It's like uh, Dr. Don doesn't have time, really, uh, with taking care of all of you guys to uh, really mm -hmm. properly garden. It's like I'm she just other... like, she's not a farmer, so she just like gets plants and she plants them back here, and then they kind of like just grow and multiply. Mm -hmm. because of the blessings of the harvest goddess. Yeah. Um, I have another question. Mm. For us town singer types, what happens when you try to sing to a flower bed that has weeds in it? What do you want to happen? Well, what I think happens is you have to weed the bed first. Otherwise, the weeds will grow Ooh. alongside, like at the same pace as the rest of the plants. Make a wise check. Let's see what wises you have to be relevant. Do you have any? I, I feel like Harvest Valley Wise doesn't apply. Not really. I do have I think, sing wise. I think sing wise is the right one here. Yeah. But this is a little bit uh not common knowledge, I think. Mm -hmm. Um I think this is an interesting fact. For sure. Does the harvest goddesses fecundity, if I say that word right, apply to what people would consider weeds as well as the crops that they want to grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obs to sing wise. Mm -hmm. 
I don't, I'm not seeing any ports for this. Um, no. Let's just. I mean, if you have Ashland wise, oh, you win. All uh, right, you are correct. So if you sing, the weeds will grow as well as uh, the important herbs and medicines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I watch for a second to see what, because I think the horses, the horse that's closest to me um, is like a really white horse with like some brown specks along the face. And sure, sure. Their name is Lavender. And they, all right. I want to see if lavender eats the weeds, or is going to start going for like peppers. Do you have a horse wise? I think I do. You tell me then. Yes. Yes, um, you will. What? I was saying yes. I do have horse wise. What does your horse? What do you think your horse would do? I think my horse. I heard it's probably going to avoid things like peppers, but other things like. Hmm. So it's going to go after the most juicy stuff, right? Yeah. But it doesn't like the actual peppers. Exactly. You think any of these plants have natural defenses that would discourage it from being eaten? Um. So there's probably like juniper berries out here. Hmm. And I would probably think that juniper berries have thorns. Okay. I mean, I assume your horse is avoiding the thorns. Yeah, that's what I think, too. Um, but are but juniper there's... berries a weed or a medicine? They are a medicine. All right. This gets complicated. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. All right, let's find out what happens. Well, yeah, tell me, what does, what does success look like? Um, if I succeed, um, I think Lavender will go after some of the weeds but not all of them and is going to make a complete mess of a bunch of the grass that's between the beds mm. okay i think if you fail it's going to turn out that uh, horse teeth are strong enough to eat the thorns i just don't care they eat everything that's even really juicy awesome what's my obstacle that's two. Cool. Let's just find out what happens. All right. What is so happening your, with these wises? Your horses are just eating a lot of wild stuff. Um, I think Lavender is actually like digging little holes in the garden. And Dr. Donna seems upset by that. I mean, she may not take care of her garden, but she doesn't like it dug up by animals. Mm -hmm. Is Esteban seeing Dr. Donna through like a window or something? It's up to you where you would sing from. You could sing from the garden. You could be on oh, top I was, of the uh, I was, hospital. I was saying see, not sing. Sing? Uh, no, she's in the middle of the garden. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I think there's like a bench near one near the side of the garden that touches the uh, the hospital and mm -hmm. is full of like tools for taking care of animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to distract Lavender for a bit and like take mm -hmm. them over to like something I can tie them up to like on the other side of the road, like maybe a tree or something. Okay. Um, so you're going to take the horse away from the doctor? Yeah. 
while you sing. Yep. Mm -hmm. And assumably your other horses are more well behaved. Yeah, I think so. All right. Um, I think like animal husbandry. Sure thing. And if you fail, I mean, it's going to wreck a major part of the garden. Yeah, because I just won't. Um, you be like literally it. hauling him and his feet will be dragged into the garden. I'll just make a huge mess. Yeah. Um, I'm going to fork in horse wise. And that's all I see. Well, animal husbandry wise. Mm hmm. Um, no, you thing. can't. I don't think you can fork in the, the wise. That's what I've been doing, I think. Um, you can't use the wise of a skull when you're rolling the skull. Okay. I'm pretty Same sure thing. I've been consistent about that. Gotcha. Um, and what's my ob? Animal husbandry. Ob three. Okay. Sounds good. Let's see what sort of a mess we can make. All right. And two sixes. Ooh. <laughs> That's the second pair of sixes you roll in a row. You had two sixes on the It's last true. One. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's say like a quarter of the garden is destroyed. Oh, goodness. Like, uh, Lavender is really upset because one of the shoes just got taken off and their foot's like really tender. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, I think like another shoe is loose because Dr. Donna was like taking off the shoe. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's a really a big fight to get Lavender away. And um, I think when you do actually get Lavender over by a tree, it just falls down outside and crushes a whole bunch of more plants. Oh boy. Okay, Esteban comes back, um, talks to Dr. Donna, and I say, sorry about that. I'm going to get on weeding these beds right away so that I can sing to these herbs. She seems kind of like annoyed. She's like, Esteban, I thought I asked you to sing while I work, not, not weed. Well, if, if I don't weed first, then you're going to have weeds and herbs. So? That's so bad to have weeds? It's not great. You're not there. <laughs> um, so this might be a question um, about Dr. Donna's kind of like knowledge of herbalism and stuff like that because some weeds can be like useful for like herbalism and stuff that are weeds like dandelions useful and a whole bunch of things and there's plantain which you can kind of use as like a I mean it's like, not a test of Dr. Donna's knowledge yeah she knows how to use everything yeah. So that's like Estevan's knowledge to see uh, what he thinks a weed is. Yeah. I was just curious about Dr. what Dr. Donna's like school of thought of uh, medicine is. I mean, there are some plants which have no medicinal medicinal value. And there yeah. are many of those plants in this garden this way they're weeds. Mm -hmm. um, that's not a question. Is there a part of the garden that's completely weeds? And then they're just being cultivated because they're useful? No. Okay. Gotcha. Interesting. 
It literally looks like she just finds useful plants and puts them in her garden. Mm -hmm. She's not a farmer. But then also weeds show up because that's how weeds work. Yeah, exactly. That's what weeds do. They're opportunistic invasive species. Mm -hmm. You know, like humans. (laughs) Exactly like humans. Exactly. Um... So I want to weed these beds so that I can I can get to work on singing so that Dr. Johnny can be happy and have a nice garden. Mm-hmm. Is there anything in my way? Not really. It's just gonna take you a while. Okay. All right. So what kind of skill do you have for gardening? Um, I'm just farming. Yeah, I don't think you have any skill. Yeah, we're going to have to learn farming. Awesome. Finally. Let's see, where's farming? Mm-hmm. I'm not learning farming yet. Kind of a skill is farming. Yeah, if you could tell me the route, that would be super helpful if you find it before me it's perception oh, farming. it's on page 272 okay sweet okay the farming requires tools which you don't have mm-hmm. um yeah it's just a pain because i don't have a, like a trowel or anything or and I'm gloves. trying to like actually like weed these beds and not just like snap the tops off. Yeah, yeah. Like you gotta get these weeds out, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, let me just check. What is the penalty for not having tools? Uh, the obstacle gets doubled. That's I what I thought. We are already uh, mm. doing this untrained. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. I mean, it's probably only ob one. The weed? Yeah. Maybe. That's what I'm sort right, of. Let's look at farming. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna add an ob because these are unusual plants. You don't know anything about. Sure. So your ob is two, then it's doubled to four, it's doubled to eight. Um, I thought that the penalty didn't get doubled. We don't have tools? For being... Oh, uh, you're right. No? You're right, you're right. The actual penalty doesn't get doubled. Okay, so doubles so from one to five. two, and two to four, and then plus one up. So yeah, you're yeah. right. Abs five. Okay. Let's find out what happens. That's, yeah, that's a tough test, man. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. It, it, it should it's only not been five, time. not ten. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh... let's see if fate decides to go in my favor today. I mean. It could happen. No. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> awesome. Never mind. We will learn farming right. soon, though. And then <laughs> so we can we'll end this scene. Uh, Dr. Donna is just really upset at Esteban. Mm-hmm. Um, it just, he just spends the whole time ripping out things, not knowing if they're weeds or herbs. And she doesn't get to hear any nice singing while she works. So at the mm-hmm. end, she's just really upset. All right. Awesome. Is it time for a break, or are we going back to Ned and Ashley? Uh, we're going back to Ned and Ashley, and I think we're doing... Uh, we're, Two we're, breaks? Yeah, we're... One break. One break? One break. Okay, cool. One break. All right. So, Ned, you successfully shooed the other elk away from 
Ashlyn and your uh and you got rid of your sister? Your kill. So you don't need and to you got rid of your anything. sister. This is a very easy and simple choice for Ned. I've been thinking about it a lot. Elk are a prey animal. <clears throat> Therefore, his sister's not really in immediate danger. The danger here is an exposure and starvation. But if he doesn't get this elk's meat back, it's going to be bad. So elk first, sister later. Okay, so you're actually going to cut the elk, haul it back to town. Well, you don't cut up. You would, you would just gut it and then haul it back so that you can drain it and then actually butcher it. Mm-hmm. Okay. How are you going to move an elk? Uh, I mean, I think probably... Once you gut it, it's, you can haul them. Usually. I mean... Plus, I think so... it's about the time that Ashlyn wakes up. Oh, is Ashlyn awake now? I don't know. Yeah, like... I suspect that probably the commotion of uh, the other elk running off and your sister screaming uh, in surprise is was enough to, to wake her up. So, <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm just not just not used to the sight of blood. We gotta get this back. <sighs> She's trying to think of a way she can help you without actually looking at it. I, I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can do it, Ned. Ashlyn, when we get done with all of this, we're going to have to have a serious conversation about your theology. But there's no time for that right now. You're just going to need to lift this elk because we got to haul it out of here and then go after my sister. <sighs> okay. I think I can do it. Ned just starts hauling it. He'll haul from the front so that she doesn't get blood all over her. That's nice. So you give her a rope to pull? No, you have to lift. I think we have to just lift it. Yeah. Okay. You know, you realize this is an elk, right? This is enough food to feed like half of the town for the entire winter. Yeah, that, that was the goal. Okay, in real life, you cannot yeah. carry all the food of an elk at once. How much does not. an elk weigh after gunning it? You I need like a sled or something to carry it on. Yeah, how yeah. much? This I is, mean, I, I, know... look, I managed okay. to finagle a tree out of the woods. So I think I can get an elk out, so just tell me what I need to do. So do we need I'm to make a sled to get this yeah. thing out? Like... Yeah, a, a, a mature elk weighs about 700 pounds. So, I mean, and this, the two of this us. thing is like probably like 900. It was like a mega elk. Alright, well what kind of... I'll make a sled then. It's fine. Okay, I'll make a sled. You have carpentry. You can do that. Yeah. Uh, what's the ob for this? For an elk uh, sled? A sled? I think it's about as tough as a table so let's say abs three all right cool carpentry do it uh, just make a sled up here <laughs> what yeah cut? uh tree cutting because i'm cutting trees uh tree okay. wise because they're can i, I help need... with hatchet wise yeah brilliant all right hatchet wise uh and Man, that's the bottom was here. He could use ammo husbandry to get the elk to pull the sleigh. Mending <laughs> to get it all together. All right. Boom. Wait, ob three. Boom. Ooh. And boom, it does. Nice. Mm -hmm. boom, it all right. Does. All right. Yeah, you're able to pull the sled of elk back to uh, Ashland's farm, I think. Um, but it's dark when you get there. Um, as you like start to cross, you go at night? I don't think so. I remember it being night for some reason. All right, that's fine. All right, as night falls, you reach Ashland's farm, and on the edge of the farm, you meet uh, your brother Ned. And uh, let's see here, Fred. Fred looks really upset. 
It's like, there's only two of you. I know my sister went with Ashlyn. Expecting her to get back. Like, suddenly Ashlyn remembers that that uh, uh, she'd been with her. And she, like, looks, like, incredibly ashamed. And she's like... Ned didn't say anything. I thought she went home. Uh, Ned's just gonna turn around and walk back into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> he literally doesn't say a word. He sets the elk up to like drain and then walks back into the woods <laughs> after his sister. Uh, are you gonna need help, Ned? You can come if you want. The Fred Gub's with you. You lose your whole family out in these woods. <laughs> Fred just follows us. Yeah, do you like not slow down or acknowledge his existence at all? Correct. That's why I figured. Uh, so yeah, he'll just Fred like follow like. Us. He'll just follow like ten steps behind. I, I practically feel like I'm part of the family now. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm trying to get back to the clearing and then I'm going to try to track the animal that carried away my sister. Okay, yeah, you can you can track back to the clearing, okay. Um, yeah, and uh, there's going to be a pretty obvious trail where a herd of elk were stampeding. That's what I figured, so I'll, I'll follow the path. Yeah, do you actually have tracking? I do. Yeah, because and orienteering. You were a hunter. Uh all right. Would you like me to make a test? You sound like you're saying trying to say something, Kelsa. Uh I I was going to help, but if it's not making a test, then I can't help. I'll make a test. <laughs> uh right. What is the ob of this here test? Uh, it's going to be abs four. Uh, these aren't as fresh as they were before. Uh, I mm... for a herd charging while carrying a person. All right. I mean, it's what it says. Okay. Ukraine. It's also in the dark. I won't. Uh, I won't apply the darkness oh, abs for you. It's true. I mean, but those, like I've said many times, these are suggested obs. This is like, it's not meant to be independent of all situation and circumstance, but that's Yeah, why. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, there are other animals in the woods. All right, well, I'm just going to, what's failure, actually? Failure is what you're going to find the herd and not your sister. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I'll take the challenging test. All right. So you're not accepting help. Correct. Okay. Oh, I rolled base up one, but I still fail. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you with us? Let's go look at Estevan for a bit. <laughs> Yay. So Estevan, <laughs> you go home to the mansion, right? Mm-hmm. So you get there. Um, how many horses do I have to bring home at once? I'm probably just like bringing home like three horses i'm imagining yeah you know did lavender survive yeah oh then you have four horses oh, okay cool um did lavender ever get chewed properly oh yeah okay. i mean but it was like a question of like was it too much trouble you just put down lavender mm. <laughs> does lavender start flipping out because uh, they're in so much pain and they don't like getting shooed. Yeah. Or they eat the wrong thing in the garden and have a heart attack. Yeah, exactly. You know, these are things I can roll a die of fate for, but I can just ask you to. Yeah. But yeah, you, just... you say he survives. Yeah. Or she. I'm not sure what Lavender's gender is. I'm not sure either. Um... Lavender's a very gender neutral name. It smells nice on both men and women. I think, 
I have lavender. Lavender is good. Um, I think to honor characters long past in our group, I think lavender is a she. All right. So yeah, she's with you. Um, Bring in all these horses home. Are they pulling your carriage? Um, no, actually, because I think these horses need to be reshoed in pulling the carriage. Okay. Most of them thinks that's like. Yeah, you, you wouldn't. We're, we're kind of bringing it all the horses to Doctor Donna to make that job easier. Yeah, you, you have to have like brought the carriage to Dr. Donna's in the first place. Does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. Do you have to like call the like use reins and stuff to lead the horses or do they just follow mm -hmm. you? Um I think I have to lead the horses with reins. Okay. Yeah. The horses don't just do what you want. Mm -hmm. I okay. I have an affinity for sheep and goats, not an okay. affinity for horses and ponies. Okay. But soon. Uh, anyway, we're coming back home to see yeah. what Ash is up to. Yeah, so you, you go home. Uh, you put the horses in the stable. I guess you've made like a makeshift, makeshift stable uh, slash mm -hmm. mousetrap. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you just walk into the mansion. Yep. Uh, you don't see Ash, but you hear a conversation coming from upstairs. Cool. Um, what's happening upstairs? Uh, you go in and you see uh, the winter goddess talking with herself. Whoa. Okay. So, I'm going to try to eavesdrop. All right, roll inconspicuous. Perfect. Uh huh. Cool. What happens if I fail? I mean, uh, what happens if you fail? You're going to be ensorcelled uh, by the Winter Queen. This is cool. That's my Why obstacle. do you keep giving us failures that are so much better than succeeding? Because <laughs> <laughs> burning wheel? <laughs> I, no, that's true. That's, that's a good point. That is exactly yeah. what it's all about. I mean, do you want to get info? Do you want to get the dirt? Or do you want to get magic up? It's up to you. I want to get info, but you want me to get magic up. Shh, no, I want you to farm. <laughs> 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 then you have to make the consequences of failure that I have to do farming. Well, you just did farming. Can I get magic up? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What's my obstacle? Right. Her observation. So get a plus one. Get a plus one because uh she's helping herself. Great. Okay. Oh good. Uh, let's. Oh, okay. uh, it's just a one for me. All right. Um, yeah, so she notices you. You get ensorcelled. Um, so she just says sleep, and you fall into a deep slumber. Um, where you have dreams of fairies and dancing among the fairies. You awesome. are back in the medicine garden. And you are dressed in leaves. And every time you move, like you're, you're covered in fireflies. Every time you move, the fireflies like lift off and they float around and land on you again. Mm -hmm. What do I have to do here? Whatever you For want. Me. 
what has become of the garden? Is it still it looks in... like it's fixed. Like it's a beautiful garden with no weeds in it. Like he didn't wreck anything. Mm -hmm. Has it been sung to yet? No. We are going to sing to the garden in our dreams. All right. Fantastic. If I succeed, right. I want to find out what all this. I want to know what the fireflies want. I right, usually that wouldn't make sense, but in this case, nothing makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Dream logic, go with it. It's mm -hmm. legit. Let's go with it. See, gold. Uh huh. Now you know how it feels when somebody goldens you. <laughs> Where do you think I learned it? Um, I learned it from you. You learned it from me. I learned it from watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can't say I learned it from anywhere. Okay. Um, well, I did read a lot of uh, Rebecca Borgstrom's little stories, which are wonderful. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Okay. You can learn what the but you're rolling against the will of the fireflies, which is one. They're fireflies. Mm -hmm. uh, failure looks like you become the thraw of the fireflies. Mm, so good. You have to sing until they're satisfied. All right. Mm -hmm. So the fireflies want to sprout and become fairies, but they can only do that if they're sung to properly. This is very interesting. Um, I kind of want to roll a new wise or something. Oh, well, what do you want to know about? Um, I would like to say um, that in Harvest Valley, fairies are because in our microscope game, we said that there are no um, there, there are no sprites. fairies. Harvest sprites, yeah. Th these cannot break that rule. Yes. So these are not harvest sprites, right. but fairies might be a thing. Yeah. Once a year, Talking sure. Talking nicer things. I didn't really realize that was a rule. Otherwise, I wouldn't have tried to introduce fairies to this game. At the beginning. As long as they're not harvest sprites, it's fine. Yeah. I think the entire point is that we have to actually do real farming. And we can't have magical help. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Other than yep. what we already have. Yeah, yep. that's worked out really well so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, so I think these fairies are probably like part of a court and they're probably like aligned with the seasonal goddesses. Oh, they're not fairies yet. But they would be. Yeah. They will be, if you mm -hmm. sing to them, right? They're like mm -hmm. fairy eggs. Mm -hmm. Larva? This is fairy seed pods. Yeah. <laughs> so, if... Are they going to grow up thinking you're their mother? Yes. <laughs> Just like baby ducklings. Beautiful. If these... If these fireflies hatch into uh, fairies, they will be from the court of the summer goddess, who we have not seen yet. Do you really want to introduce a new uh, goddess? Mm -hmm. There have to be four of them. There only needs to be two, man. <laughs> if you really want to. 
totally. All right. So uh, I was working on a duality. I mean, okay. if you really want it to not be a thing, then that goes above anything else. I think I want there not to be like four equal goddesses, but I'm okay with there being two like minor ones or I'm okay with that too. Yeah. Like maybe literally the summer as is just a fairy that all the fairies love. I and she only has this one night a year. Yeah, I like I like that idea best. That sounds awesome. Sure, cool. As a matter of fact, I almost think like maybe she doesn't like she had she doesn't like manifest until the fairies come. Yeah. Like they herald her arrival or something. Yeah. Okay. What sort of wise is this? Uh, let me look at your current wises. You may not have to start a new one. Festival wise. You know? We we have a you can use festival wise. Yeah. Mm. I like that. Yeah. Totally. I'm getting right. close to actually learning that wise. Which you is great. are. Mm -hmm. So. Man, I feel like this is uncommon knowledge, though. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So how can I twist this without vetoing it? All right, I know how. Get ready, Ashtavan. Mm -hmm. For your inevitable failure. Let's see what happens when you roll. What? All right. But you do sing to these fireflies or not? Bomb, bomb. I <sighs> four to six. I'm trying to sing to the plants, but I I'm singing. Oh, you sing to the plants. But it's not like they can't hear my singing. That's not the song they want. Yeah. So the summer goddess doesn't materialize yet. Romeo, well, you sing to the plants. Mm -hmm. And I think they start to grow and the town starts to shrink. Ooh. In your dream, at least. Mm -hmm. dream. Does my brewery shrink? In the dream, it shrinks. Mm -hmm. We need to have that conversation about your brewery. Actually, I'd wanted to have it when we were walking home with the with the elk, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, you can have it now when you're walking uh, with with Fred just following you too. That's true. Yeah, we're 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 kind of getting to a point in my scene where it's like question marky. So I think it's a good time to. Yeah, so let's have switch. That talk maybe. Yeah. That's that's the okay. what you think about what you're doing, Esteban. What are you doing, Esteban? What are you doing? Dreaming. <laughs> Let me sleep. So we got to where the elks were and we found the elks but no sister. That's so, what happened. Yeah. Yeah. But while we were, while we're walking searching for that is when uh I speak up and I'm like Ned, when we were back on the farm I could see your 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 bar was already open, and there's there's people just just tromping through my fields left and right, and I I don't know what to do. It's 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 hurting my crops. We gotta we have to find a better solution to this. Uh, well. Never really 
care that much about running the bar anyway. So I'll just close it. Thanks, Ned. It means a lot to me. Yep. I just need to sell the whiskey. I don't really care about serving it. Great. Let's go find your sister. Eh. <laughs> so, what uh, does Fred say? Fred does uh, not say anything. Unless you ask him. Neither of you like acknowledge his existence, right? No, I, I said hi and I thank I thanked him for coming with us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the good I thing just... you're closing down that bar. Me and Bish had to uh clear off the porch a couple of times. Hi. Those drunken hooligans tried to uh, camp out on your porch. Oh my goodness. I know it's been getting to be some bit of a problem. I didn't realize it was that bad. That plus the trampled crops, it, it just wasn't a good idea, but you're right, you don't need a bar to have a brewery. Everything will work out fine. Everything will work out fine. <laughs> Maybe for you. You know, th those uh, drunkards aren't going to leave. Just gonna find somewhere else to drink. You think they didn't have a place to drink before? Just gonna go hang out at Carmichael's hotel and drink there. They would have done it anyway. I guess. It's a much better place for them. They need to have a drink. They stay there. It's a hotel, right? It's an expensive hotel. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll see. But I'm glad I'm on the far side of town. How much further do you think it's going to be, Ned? I'm glad you're on the far side of town, too. The two <laughs> brothers, like, just share a moment of agreement for once. <laughs> uh, I think when she says that, I'll just go like, shh, 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 and point at the elk through the trees. Yeah, so you, like, spy on the elk. We don't see your sister anywhere. Uh, there's not even, like, shreds of clothing around. And like, you're just like, oh, shoot. Because it was easy to follow the elk. But it was hard to see when she fell off. Oh, no. Well, she's probably dead. I don't think that could be right. We probably just m missed her along the path. We should head back the way we came. Maybe call out for her. All right. You just hear uh, Fred say, Matilda! <laughs> uh, but there's no answer. Uh, let's just go carefully look along the path. All right. You, you are all calling out for her, just Fred. Yeah, I I'm will, calling I out to her, for her, too. Yeah. All right. You're looking out for her? I assume uh, listening. Yeah, I'm calling as well. Okay. Uh, this is just a per uh, is it perception or is it tracking again? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I'm checking. I'm checking stuff. That's, that's like the hard thing about this game for me is reading this skill list. Mm hmm. <sighs> I think it's just a perception test. Um, it's not a dangerous perception test, but it is dark. Uh, 
So let's see here. Requires concentration is three, I believe. So you're looking at abs four total. For perception or tracking? For perception. All right. Okay. And if you don't find her, you're just going to give up for tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's reasonable. Um, I'll roll it. Uh, with uh, Sam, you helping? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, do I also get a die for um, Fred helping? Yeah, okay. that'll help. No, Fred's just along. He's not actually. He's not actually helping in any way. <laughs> it's just over here. He actually also doesn't want to find a sister. No. <laughs> Ed wants to find a sister, just uh, not that much. Not as much as he wanted to save that. Yeah. Ah, all right. I've oh. Got, oh. I got one six. I got one There's six. There's a six. No. Oh. All right. Well, something happens to Matilda that night. She found the artichokes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to Esteban. Mm -hmm. So uh, just so we're clear, we Ned and... Because we're right about there and we're switching scenes. I have a Actually, that's sure. a good idea. Let's, uh, Let's go ahead and head on over to break. I'm going to put on our lovely uh, Firefly Firefly Festival uh, card here. And uh, we're going to be back in about five minutes. <laughs>